Uh, yeah. Started the recording, so we have it for next week. Um, yeah, your place isn't that little. It's nice. No, but it's just right for me. I mean, any smaller and there wouldn't be a hospital or a, <clears throat> or a Walmart if I chose to use it. But um, if you don't have a Walmart, there's a lot of things you miss. Yeah, but I don't usually go. I mean, usually we have a big lots close by. I've never used them before, but it seemed hmm. all right. I grew up in a town of 500. <laughs> I guess there was no hospital there, huh? <laughs> no. Two, three bars <laughs> and a grocery store. I think we got Billy Blank getting on. How do you know it's not Emily? Uh, hey, 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 Emily. Hey. He uses my password so he can put stuff up. Yeah, or when Tom's not here, I can do them. Since this is all under Emily's name, we know who's in charge. Yeah, well, but I pay for it, so. <laughs> <laughs> but if she if she pulled the plug and said, Tom, you've just taken up entirely too much time, you'd have to defer, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. So, Billy, I got a job next Thursday. Can you do it? Sure. Sure. Okay. What kind of job? What kind of job? I want to hear. Um. I used to do a lot of work for Arena Stage, and now once a year they hire me for these for a thing called Voices of Now, which are a bunch of kids that write plays and perform them. How old? What kind so of kids? Four days I do that, and then I make up things to put on. Huh. Hi, Chris. One of my Hello, Chris. Instant jobs. Hey, Chris. Hey, folks. Howdy, Chris. Wait. Back well, in the intro. My... Oh, Barry's all right. Looks like he might have fallen off of the chair. Oh, yes. no, there he is. I thought he caught on fire. Yeah, he has his phone working today. Yeah. I'm on my phone, the computer, yeah. but the Wi Fi won't work. <clears throat> but, my, yeah. but, the, but the phone, it will. Can you imagine that? Hmm. But it's my son, my youngest son and his wife just came today and she brought me. Uh, your a mustache something. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it says your father's mustache. I think it's a port portable urinal. <laughs> I I was trying to figure it out because I can't <laughs> figure out the mustache. Cut. Yeah. Well, it looks like a, it looks like a giant bong. You have to have a big. <laughs> <laughs> it's got three holes up here. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just fill it with a little tobacco and then uh, put your mouth on the other side and suck. The wacky tobacco, <laughs> wacky tobacco. Yeah, I yeah. I don't know. I've seen different things that say your father's mustache. So I don't know what that has to do with it. And it looks like a pitcher of some sort, or maybe a tea strainer. Well, mm. I, I just thought, why would you put your father's mustache on a tea? <clears throat> I think Chris might have. He might be right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, like, I'll tell you what. If that's a urinal, I, I, I would overflow this sucker and. Uh, you're bra you're bra I'm still back on. I'm still back on. Put your mouth on it and suck. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. Okay. <laughs> Three oh little holes. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, a question for the band guys. Uh, what song was it that had that little break in it? Grandma cut your toenails. You're ripping the sheets. That was that was uh, South. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. I, all I remember was the, the the tune. I couldn't remember what the name of the song was. Oh, we lost Chris. Ba, ba, da, 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 that song. Mm -hmm. And the bridge goes. Da, 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 yeah. Or baby, baby, think, cut your toenails. Could could you get your banjo? Because I don't think I can recognize it. Was just da 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 da. -da. Well, no, my banjo's right next to me, but I haven't touched it since November. <laughs> and you'd probably require union rates or something. Yeah. Right here, I can show you all my banjos with my phone. Look, see them. Oh yeah, they look, hey, they look lonely. Your office looks really neat. This is uh. My uh, garage. Yeah, but your office garage. Yeah, well, I have a desk out here and stuff, you know. Good afternoon, Chris. 
Yeah, no, so Tom, uh, on, our, on our little invitation, you had put Banu doing the, the mother spelling with her body. Yeah. And she, I remember she was on the uh, Zoom once and she uh, says that she was the one that originated the, uh, the actual song like that, the spelling of it. <clears throat> yeah, but there are other people that said the same thing. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> they all said it. And what about it? What, what about Ed oh, Sheeran? Bad, bad news says, says she's the first one that did the M is for the many things. And, oh, you know, like that. And Tom put on the, uh, the invitation. invitation, Banu spelling it out. And I should have put Happy Mother's Day, but I. Yeah. Think about that. Well, a little bit later when everybody's here, I have uh, Peter Babcock's mother and I have uh, Jeffrey's, my mother's eyes to watch, you know. <clears throat> that one that y'all did at Carnegie Hall with Jeffrey was beautiful. I mean, the, everything, the, the backup, the. Um, and at Carnegie, at Carnegie, Peter, uh, what's his name, did the spelling. He did uh, mother, right, but then uh, Jeffrey did uh, the other, the other, uh, my mother's right. eyes or. I yeah. miss him. I liked him. He was a funny guy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I have both of those we can look at, um, you know. But I don't know what happened to Chris. He was here and then all of a sudden he just, he must have dropped his phone in a pot of minestrone or something. Yeah, that must, that's worse than falling off the chair. Yeah, we've hurt his feelings. Um, so I was going through some of the pictures and I found this one. The oh, before the mustache. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. 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 The dream room. Well, it's something about I, supper. Yeah. Club. Can well, can you you can't expand it anymore? I thought you that was your new uh club. Oh, yeah, good. Club slipper or some club. That's what it was called. It was club slipper a long time ago. Oh. I never even knew that. Yeah, but look, there's there was a balcony over here, over above what was clarity when we oh, they burned oh. down. And then You're they right. extended it. Because I remember oh. the gutters. Mm -hmm. You've discovered something new. That's so so I mean it was only recently when I heard Roger say that the mustache added the balcony, but they added this part, I mean the main part, the part of a clarity. Well, I think I think Roger said that it was there when the mustache started. No, no, I thought he, I thought he said that they added. I could be wrong. Uh -huh. That's what I thought. But what, what I heard him say is they added right before they opened it as the mustache. Okay. The so the this building over here because there there was stuff when we worked when we were there. There was uh, that was Rizzo's. Yeah. Right. That's what I would think. Looks like the frontage looks smaller though somehow. Well, that's what I was well, thinking. because because it was all clear because we we turned uh, well maybe so and maybe we took over part of that too or something because did, did we go because this would then like the main door and that would be the beer stand window. Yeah, and my recollection was that the rains the drain spout was was right around there, like like the end of the property, yeah. just about, you know maybe another foot or two. Huh. Well, we probably took over that other part too, like where Clarity is. Yeah. Well, no, not really. No, Clarity was there too. So I don't know. Yeah, interesting. I mean, that was before I was born, that picture. <laughs> yeah, this was 1950 something. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That looks like a 50 something automobile. But look, the Clarity, you know, it's it's basically the same building. Mm. It's got that yeah, yeah. Arch. And the door. The door on the other side going upstairs. Yeah. And that's what it looks like. And then the um traditional yeah. peak things right there. This is totally different. They redid all so, so our marquee is right where they had their marquee. I guess <laughs> on yeah, on the wall there on the front. Interesting. Yeah. Hey Gim. Yes, hey, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, Gim. Yes, sir. Hey, Rick Haley's here. Trying. How about that? <laughs> yeah, we had we had Chris for a while too, but he's not here. Yeah, hey Rick, this is a picture I found of the mustache before the mustache. Oh Slums. wow. Huh. Were, were you working there before it was the mustache, Rick? No, no. no. You do have a birthday though this month, don't you? Monday. Monday. Happy yeah. birthday. 
be 24 finally. God. Good. Or maybe it's maybe it's uh, 78. Still a virgin. Still a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was... There. There. All right. Hey, Hello, hey. everybody. Hey, what's up? Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Yeah. All right. Snake, did you have any tornadoes? Uh, we had tornado watch. Oh, yeah. But uh, nothing, hallelujah, nothing yeah, happened. They said they were all over around the Denver area, you know, watches and everything. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, so they we had a tornado watch. And it, was, uh, mm -hmm. it was scary. Wow. There's there a tornado watch for Bastrop, Louisiana, today up by Shreveport. Oh, really? Wow. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's where my brother in law lives, and my wife mm -hmm. tells me all the time. Oh, yeah, I've seen I've seen those in Iowa, and they're not pretty. Oh. <clears throat> there seems to be a lot more tornadoes these these days than there was previously. Is it all global warming? Is it all that stuff, climate change. Yeah, it was a couple of months ago around here that Bill, you and uh, Barry, and I remember, remember they had like six or seven tornado watches all at one time. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, crossing. Uh, under Mandible or Covington, those areas around here and all that. Yeah, most of them have been staying north of us, though, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah thank goodness, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they can tear things up. I used to work, I used to go film it for Verizon in different parts of the country when the tornado would hit. Oh, wow. Everybody said the same thing. We heard the train coming and then yeah. boom. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I, prefer, I prefer hurricanes, you have plenty of time to get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Case, you know. tornadoes you don't you know we had a we had a bad one my dad was a veterinarian and he uh he didn't even take his bag out he just took a 45 and euthanized animals oh no because they were so beat up yeah i guess they got picked up it was there was straw sticking in the side of a barn mm. i've heard about that yeah oh yeah no the, that the <laughs> went below yeah, I met this one guy who was in his basement, and then, and he and he heard he heard the train coming, and then the next thing he knew, the carpet on the floor had kind of blown on top of him, and they got it off, and the house was gone. Mm -hmm. And his other guy was drunk, sleeping in his trailer, and he woke up in a field, and he never saw the trailer again. He was uh -huh. damn. Wow, they're not good. There's an old. Yeah. Advertisement. Yeah. <clears throat> Even though it says your father's mustache, is this Harry Lips poster or whatever? I well, guess it might have been. I don't know. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> John I don't. It must be. I would think. Wonder if I called that number if he'd answer. <laughs> <laughs> you like the Twilight Zone. Yeah. See, John, John Murata <laughs> answers it. Yeah. Who's the girl in the picture? Hey, Tom and Billy, I got a question for you. Okay. Uh, I've got on my iTunes sheet, I've got some sound files of Joe Terra singing back when we played in Key West. Is there a way I could send those to y'all and y'all could play them at these sessions? Sure. Yeah. Send them to yeah. either one of us. Is it an MP3 file, a wave file? Do you know? I think it is. A, I don't know. It's on iTunes. On iTunes? It's on, my, it's on my iTunes sheets. Oh, can you download them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what all that means. <laughs> well, you have to wait to get the file to us. I couldn't just like, you know. But when you say it's on your iTunes sheet, you bought it or is it? Um... No, this is a recording that was made when we were playing at Captain Tony's. And for some reason, Danny digitalized it. In other words, it was made mm -hmm. on a cassette player wow. back in the 70s. And from that cassette tape, he wow. digitalized it. So, okay. Well, it has to be a file then. It, yeah. It, right. I'm, I'm going to see Danny tomorrow. I could ask him about it. Well, he don't remember that. That's years ago. I, I just had the thought. If, um, you click, if you click on it, will it play for you? Yeah. Okay, so can't he just attach that to something? Am I like an email? I'll have to go look at it, you know. But it, it might be fun listening, you know. I got to yeah. listen to Tara <laughs> sing, you know. 
I don't take your all right for sure. Yeah, if it yeah. yeah, if it's um if it opens up as a separate file, um yeah, just attach it to an email, send it to me or Tom, you know, and we could play it. Just we could just yeah. put up. It might be fun, you know, to hear no, that. It'd be great to hear him. I've never heard him. Oh really? Oh my goodness. Really? really? And and let me tell you what, he's nothing to listen to. <laughs> he really <laughs> isn't. No, we have said it many Jared, times. This, but, yeah, I haven't found any videos or anything of him anywhere. Yeah, you know, so. that's right. So this would be a recording, <laughs> but Joe Tara, and I think Gim and somebody all that know him will vouch for this. He wasn't a great singer. No. He wasn't a great washboard player. He wasn't a handsome guy. He, I mean, he wasn't anything, but he was the most charismatic, charisma guy I ever right. saw. He was a he had a stage presence about him that uh, it just dominated the picture. It really did. That's right. And he wasn't good looking. He couldn't yeah. sing. He couldn't play the washboard. <laughs> hey, Barry, I saw my stylist and got told him I, I knew you. Yeah, well, he was a showman, I guess, is what you'd say. He was a showman, but it, it came natural. Well, I mean, all he had to do was stand on the stage. <clears throat> all he had to do. Was yeah, all he had to do was be there and be himself, and that was yeah. fine. Well, well, look at Jimmy Durante. I mean, would you say he's good looking or can sing good or anything? Right. Everybody loved to watch him, though. You know, good night, Miss Calabash. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the same kind of deal, Bill. Mm -hmm. Same yep. kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll look at it and see, you know. Yeah. Yeah, just open up the folder and... Uh, and see what the folder that each each title will have an extension. It'll you say like MP3 or WAV or something mm -hmm. afterwards, and and you can just t attach it. You know when you when you attach things to emails, you know how to do that. Uh, I think I could figure that out. Okay. Don't be so but sure. I, Don't be so I, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've got. I've actually have two sets we did in Key West, and I, I guess it was in the seventies somewhere. Like seventy-seven kids to do it. Yeah, they probably know how to do it. Yeah, but two sets, and it was made on a little cassette player. But it, Danny worked with it and digitalized it, and it's not too bad, you know. Mm -hmm. Here's Chrissy back again. We we lost you. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I had a call. I had to take. So. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. But I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we noticed. We noticed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got some fantastic food events going on around you, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, we see those posts of yours. <laughs> it's endless. It's especially this time of the year. I went to a chili festival a couple of weeks ago, I guess, or a week ago, and um, there were fifteen different kinds of chili. Oh my goodness. And I would say one of them was terrible. The rest of them were all terrific. <laughs> but you, you always have to have one that you go, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> How'd they get it? Yeah. The chili festival. Right? Now, I've never I've never been to it, but when I was in Texas, lived in Texas for five years, the big thing was the Terralingua chili cook-off. Would drive all, all the way up to Terralingua and just have dozens or hundreds of people cooking chili. The yeah. only, you could not have you could not put use beans in your chili. They would they would not in Texas you can't. Yeah. yeah, but other, after other than that, I think just about anything goes, you know. What, no beans. what, the, what the hell do you use instead of beans? Nothing. And beef. Meat. Just beef. Beef. Just meat? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, but you can't, yeah, you couldn't, couldn't add beans to your chili. You couldn't oh, even. All that chili. That's... Yeah. Well, that's, that's well, that's that's nothing, right nothing, but, nothing but beef, but that's a glorified hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> you can't run it. There's a lot of seasonings. There's a lot of seasonings in a, you know, in a good pot of chili. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, it, no you, got, you got to put onions and you got to put chilies and oh, oh god, yes, all all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I, I had never tried making chili before. When I moved to Texas, I put all kinds of stuff in, including bell pepper, uh -huh. and it actually came out pretty good, you know. But uh, my neighbors kind of said, you know, hey, well, you, you can cook with some more of that Cajun chili if you want, you know, like, you know. So, so it really wasn't Cajun, but uh, did have bell pepper in it. <laughs> Close enough, huh? Onions we're, we're, we're having stuffed peppers tonight. I'm looking forward to that. It's got it's got beans in it, <laughs> got beans and rice and uh, and uh, all, all kinds of chili and a lot of uh, a lot of hamburger. 
Good stuff. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Wash it down with an ice coat to run. Yeah, I'm all for it. <laughs> ice cold what? What was it? Ice cold. Wash it down with a coat de rhum. It's a it's a it's a Rhone Valley wine. Ah, uh, mm, yeah, that's grown up wine. That stuff, the coat de rhum. <laughs> a good coat de rhum would go with almost anything. It, it, it it's sort of <coughs> sort of a universal kind of thing. I wouldn't have it with a flounder or a fish, but uh, I would have it with just about any kind of meat. Goes great with the barbecue chicken. Mm. But great with the pork chop. Oh, great, good wine. Well, we were just when we were just talking about John. I have this um this video. See if you can hear it. I went to the doctor yesterday, have a checkup, and she says everything's healing okay. And I said, well, why is it that I'm walking around and I still feel like someone kicked me in the nuts? Because well, when we opened you up, you didn't. We thought it was just a little going to be a little four inch hole that we had to sew up. But it actually extended all the way down to your testicle. Oh, we had a scrape down, excuse me, down to the what? Uh, I didn't <laughs> want to hear that. I said, stop. <laughs> Next time, don't say that or you get sued for malpractice. Not <laughs> <laughs> a man's privates like that. And it's a woman doctor, I said. It's bad enough to let you see my privates. Don't talk about them. <laughs> well, I said to her, what can I do? I said, isn't there some kind, some kind of pants I could wear to support me for a while? She says, nah, don't bother that. She says, get a, a pair of socks, roll them up, and put them in your underwear. I said, I've been doing that all my life. It doesn't <laughs> <laughs> medical, medical people. I'll never understand them. <laughs> Oh Lord, that was good, Tom. Yeah, John's gonna have a stand-up routine for sure. Yeah, characters we have now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when we had when we had Jeff and John, we was... didn't, Billy and I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were they were well, characters both of them. I have a clip of when uh, Jeff did. Um, the mother tribute at the Carnegie Hall. I want to put that up here. Let's see. Make it bigger. Oh, yeah. I know we've had a night of hilarity and fun and enthusiasm. This next tune is a real downer. It's <laughs> for Pearl. This is for Pearl. One bright and shining light <coughs> that taught me wrong from right I found in my mother's eyes. Those baby tales she told a street soul pain.
Classic, classic, yeah, love it. So good. That was, that I, I was worth it. Yeah, that was great. So, <laughs> and Barry so, was having a very good time during that performance. The, 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 way that, the way that came down, we're in the lobby of the hotel. Right. It was Jeff and those four musicians, myself, Mike Gentry, Peter, and Gene. And Joel walked by while Jeff was singing that. And he said, that's in the show. Joel said right there, that number's going to be in the show. And that was our only rehearsal in the lobby. The <laughs> next time we played it was, was uh, you know, what you saw just now. Yeah, you know, everything good. worked. The accompaniment was very sweet. Very good. Oh, yeah. It was nice. Well, there are some, there are some routines that are you're so embedded in your in your brain that it's like riding a bicycle. You go fifty years between them doing it, and, and uh, it comes off perfect, even though it's fifty years later. That's right, and that's how that number was. Absolutely, the first sure. the first time we did it in the lobby, the hotel was perfect, and I. I don't know I was part of it just now, but I thought that was perfect. <laughs> it was. Well, it was. It was. Definitely. Well, Joel said that was his favorite uh, part of the uh, concert, actually. Well, you're going to break my heart. What are you talking about? And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, think, I think he mentioned it when our little get together in uh, New Haven, I think. You know, he mentioned it. He Probably. really enjoyed it. Yeah. Probably. Or maybe he mentioned it to Tom when he did that little interview with him. For, for hey, Raj. Good afternoon, ladies. I mean, Hello, Jeff Roger. Jeff. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> hey, Ronder. Yes, sir. They got a fish behind you. A, f a flying fish. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. that's the kind of fish they have in Arizona because they can't find any water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? It's going warm. Good. Starting to get warm now. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got up to we got up to seventy five today. It's pretty good. That's nice. <laughs> it's only about eighty five here today, which we is rain all week. Yeah. Uh, eighty six here, eighty eight. So well, I got I got Joel talking about Jeff. If you want to see it, sure, sure. Yes, sir. Where is? I, I got I got to run, guys. Okay. See you later. See you, see you next right, week. Dave. Hey, see you, see you David. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See, I got on too late today. Well, I don't think this is it. Never oh. mind. <laughs> That's not it. Uh -oh. that, that Never mind. Jeff yeah. in a box or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Screwed that one up. Yeah. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> what were you doing? I don't know because it, it it wasn't live. It was. Yeah, it might have been on that. Yeah, because I remember uh, sitting in with you when you interviewed Jeff uh, Joel for Jeff, and that might have been his comments then. I, I remember hearing him say that at one point though. That it was his favorite part of the concert. Roger left. What about here? I can't get, I don't know. Well, you sat down for a long time before Joel got on. So yeah, maybe I'll find it for next week. I'll, I'll clean yeah, yeah. it. Over. Now I can't even find you guys anymore. <laughs> Stop. There we go. There, there we are. are. Yeah. Hey, we're back. All right. Sorry about that. That's all right. Well, here's one, somebody we know here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Where is that? Where was that? It doesn't look like New Orleans. Must have been no. one of the northern clubs. Yeah. Hmm. It's like the Knights yeah. of Columbus with Roger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, Napoleon Bonaparte and uh, Lord Nelson and Roger. Yeah. <laughs> Roger's even shorter than Napoleon there. Well, does that bar look familiar to anybody back there? It, it, well, those other two guys are really big people. Yeah. Where'd Roger that, go? That, that's not New Orleans, I don't think. That's, 
Yeah, the guy that we the guy that we need to tell us who this is is gone. He was here. <laughs> yeah, he'll come back. He's out fishing. Yeah, I'll put it up when he comes back. Okay. That other picture that you showed at the club before before was about say where, where was what year was that? It was like 1950. You want oh, to see wow. it again? Oh my. Give me a second. I'm just curious. Looks like one of those archive photos. Yeah, that was interesting. I'm just wondering what year that was. That was before it mustache came in. I, I got to find it. Hold on. Oh, that's all right. No, I'm just curious what year. Looks like an old one. Oldie but a goodie. Yeah, it is an old one. That's why. Yeah. I just found it. Ira I should, have, I should have played the um, Jeff song while, when I got on. Hey, Roger. Roger. Okay, Roger, here we go. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to find it again. Hold on. You can, oh, you can, you can enlighten us about this picture here. That's, that's a classic picture. Yeah. <laughs> this is when we were having the international beer guzzling contest. Uh, actually, all the clubs could have it, but we got a little carried away. And, uh, <laughs> the winner was supposed to win a free trip to New York. Where and was that? That this is in New Orleans. This really? Oh, is it? Oh, and this was. Uh, I, I see that Tiffany lamp behind us, but yeah, that's else. Coca. That's a Coca-Cola lamp. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the far left is Warren Spotswood. Warren was a, a, a all-time comedian. Actually, he went up to Hollywood and did some stand-up comedy. And he's a trombone player also. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago. <clears throat> the middleman is the, the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> and the tall guy on the right is Arcus Kelly from Alabama, built in Alabama. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was pretty good. We had a, it was a lot of fun. Everybody came in dressed up, had their mugs to drink. And uh, I don't know if anybody ever got to go anywhere. It was a, it was a fun promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess I can see that. There's new ones in the, 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 the bar back in the background. They're looking away. I can see the yellow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, I couldn't tell for sure where that was. Where that was. I knew I didn't know any of those. I knew you, but I didn't know the other two guys. So. Yeah. I, have yeah. a, I have a nice tie on. You did. <laughs> <laughs> but you, Roger, usually those stovepipe hats make you look taller. I don't know, man. <laughs> long time ago. What's up, Ira? How you doing, guys? Hey, Ira. Not too bad. It's, it's Ira. Ira. How is everybody today? Doing good. 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 Keep hey, on Barry. Track. Barry, you didn't hey. look like you shaved today. I don't want. You look like you shaved today. I didn't. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> I didn't. <clears throat> no, I didn't. Oh, well. Plus, I have a different camera. I'm using my phone. The computer wouldn't work. So I guess the... the oh, women on the camera. That's nice. The camera's <laughs> closer to my face. Usually, it's out like this. That's better. Yeah. Usually, that's where you see me. With the phone, it's up close. Barry, did you do any jazz festival activities? I did not. None at all. Barry's Barry's retired. No more banjo. Retired, yeah. Who's that? I'm retired. Well, hey, you can still go out and party. Yeah, well. Okay. But you know what? <laughs> Too many people are dying over in the French Quarter now. Really? It's a shame. It's a shame, yeah. What's that? What's that? Say that again. There's too many muggings and killings and murders over in the French Quarter. Yeah, that's everywhere. What are they trying to compete with Texas? I don't know. <laughs> no, they're Texas just they're, worse. they're just taking pot shots at people in New Orleans. I don't know what's going on. They had yeah, another Texas person was killed on New Orleans East on the interstate in the, shooting. You know, down in the quarter they're doing that. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Well, here's Barry at the Mar at the uh, Jazz Fest a few yeah. years ago. Yeah. yeah. Who's the guy with the trumpet? I can't remember his name. 
it wasn't a mustache band, but Barry was doing a marching band with some guys. Yeah, that was some kind of second line band out at the jazz fest. Yeah, the, mm-hmm. yeah, the tuxedo, the tuxedo group. I, I remember that. Yeah, I think that's who I was with. Yeah, yeah, you see it on those hats, tuxedo. Okay. What yeah. year was that, Barry? I oh, took. Uh, I, I took the I'm, picture, I'm, so I don't. But I can't remember what year it was. I'm just guessing. I would guess. Uh, I don't know, 76. Yeah, it was probably probably 75, 75. up in there. Huh. You still had a mop of hair, man. So um Yeah. I said Rick, I think that might have been the jazz fest you met us at. Rick you Rick Haley, we had met out um well Rick Lever. Yeah. Was he yeah. there? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very much. Yeah. Like clothes, but huh? yeah. I've got um let's see. I've got a video clip if anybody's interested of uh Peter Babcock doing mother at the um uh, since it is Mother's Weekend, uh at the uh, uh con- oh, right, yeah. So let me get to it. <clears throat> Advanced. There we go. Make it bigger. In honor of Barry, we make it bigger. For all the mothers in the world. To sing a sentimental song. It's about my mother. And I do mention that. I was just showing the temple impersonation. Uh, it's, uh, it's entitled Mother. And uh, this is not just any tune. This is a tune that you spell out with your entire body. I do have to make a costume change, so bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I have an audience. <laughs> <clears throat> and there's for the million things she gave me. Oh, means that she's only growing old. Tears for the tears she sent to shame me. What did he say? H is for her heart as pure as gold. That was Carnegie. Yeah. Yes. Ira Ira told me. Ira Decker told me that guy's always on. (laughs) Always on. Always on. (laughs) Yeah. He's always on. And always funny. Yeah. He sure has a strong voice. Yeah. 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 He did. uh, Brewery tours or uh, vineyard tours. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. I'm so. One, I, 
to my dying day, I'll regret not going out there to do one of those. Give me ride on or ride on his bus. That would have been so much fun. I'm sure he was great at that job. I'm sure. Uh, no question about it. No question about it. Yeah. I mean, I told you all this many times. I sit here in my garage one night when he was visiting, staying in the guest room. We'd sit right here in the garage. It's 1230 at night, just me and him, and he's putting on a show. He never stopped. <laughs> he never, never stopped. I'm ready to go to fucking bed. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he never stopped, man. <laughs> Constant show. Oh, man. oh yeah. <laughs> He was on. He was always on. <laughs> when did he pass away? Oh, I, I don't know, four six, years seven, eight, ago. four years ago, maybe. Yeah. Five what, years ago. Was it pre-COVID? Before I think COVID? so. <clears throat> that's, that's quite a while, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. What's the matter with your computer, Bar? I don't know. It won't hook up to Wi-Fi. Ah, you got to get a kid in there about eight years old. He'll fix it in 10 seconds. That, right. That's what they said before you came on. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Uh, so I'm on the phone here, but I got some earphones so I can hear you guys pretty good. No, that's good. Call the Geek Squad. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty good. Are they really? I never had that. Yeah. yeah. I just had them here two months ago. They're pretty good. Actually, they are. I've, I've used them once or twice. Right? I had Rick. They're pretty good. I, I yeah. never had a problem with them. Yeah, they are. Look, we take uh, Peter Babcock to these banjo festivals with us. It would be me, Mike, Danny, and, and Eugene. Right. And, uh, and we bring Peter with us. They, they, they hire us to be the headliners at these festivals. And we were just doing a mustache show. That's all we were doing. And uh, and some of these banjo players that never, they didn't know of your father's mustache. They came afterward. Sure. They, they would look at Peter. They were mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were mesmerized because he never stopped. And, man, they, they were looking at him with their, to tilt their heads like, is this real like a dog does when you don't yeah. understand something? <laughs> yeah, he was he was a character, Peter. I should have met him. I never did get a chance to meet him. Yeah. He, they'd be doing their bye bye blues shit. He starts singing an operatic voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a good voice, beautiful voice, <laughs> strong voice. Yeah. But, no. That was interesting. Yeah, but... Anybody hear anything, Gim? Maybe you hear anything from Joel? No, I haven't heard anything. I sent him a note the other day, and it, it came back that his mailbox was full. So I'm, I got, I, I've got to call him up and see what's see how he's doing. Mm. Yeah. Is Miss Emily still helping him out? Oh, I, I would bet on it. Yeah. I'm sure she is. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm anything sure. had happened, if anything had happened, we'd know. So I'm just wondering Thanks. what story. How long has he been with Emily? That's a good question. I don't know. I would say quite a while. You know, Ten years? Several, several years. Ten years, maybe not, but several years. That's yeah. good. He has someone like that to help him. And be yeah. Him. Well, he, he changes women like I change underwear. You know I mean? He's, it, it's just... <laughs> Once a year? Once a year? Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's been married three times and had a couple more girlfriends in between. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, in honor of mothers, this is my mom wearing because she used to come down and see me at the club. Yeah, she, adorable, wonderful. Yeah, she had uh, she had that hat. Uh, in fact, when I cleaned her house off after she died, she still had that hat. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's she a great mom. that's a great picture, Billy. That really yeah, is. is a that's, that's yeah. classy, Bill. See, my good. dad just like to come and sit uh, in my section, of course, you know. Yeah. Did they Did you hold your head out for tips? Yeah. I'm cheap. Hold your head yeah. out for tips. Yeah. Very yeah. good woman. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Roger, yeah. coming and going over there. It's, uh, 
Yeah, fellas, I'm gonna have to take off and go. I gotta go meet Sandra at work. We're gonna have to eat. So, okay. Uh, okay, Rick. Yeah, see you next week. Right, right. Be safe. See you Bye, next week. Okay. Be well. Rick, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Rick. Rick. Hey, Roger. Thank you, Roger. Yeah. Maybe Roger would know more about that uh, picture you had of the uh, the old. Yeah, I've been trying to find it again. Oh, okay. I can't find it. If I, I have extra it. pictures, should I send them to Tom or Bill? Yeah, either one. Yeah. But well, we Tom's were looking at before you got week. on here. I had a picture of the dream room or the yes, the, sl the slipper club or something. Slipper club. Silver slipper. Yeah. That was before the dream room. Really? And we were talking about the outside of the building. Yeah. yeah. I have an article about that whole series. Because I, I found, I came back with this picture, which is after, you know, the mustache building. But the dream. That's the, the mustache there. Right. The, but the slipper, they they came along because it wasn't high up here at the top. Hey, be quiet. And they, um, and they, and they added that because I can see that. I, so I was trying to find the other picture I had, but I haven't, but I lost it somehow. But I'll find it for next week. Yeah. What was what was the dream room? Was that it before your father's mustache? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> it used to be a, a really late night jazz club. Mm -hmm. All the great jazz musicians played there. And they started late at night, and played at four o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Well, that 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 would happen a lot uh, in New Orleans. A lot of your musicians would get off at two or so. And they go out and hang out with the buddies and have jam sessions. It, just, it was really a lot of fun. Man. Everybody come in and uh, jam and all. Great for the customers and the bar owners. The good old days, as they used to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, they were old days. I don't know how good they were. But yeah. <laughs> in New York, we used to play on nights. On Friday nights was nine to three, and. Uh, Saturday nights was 10 to 4. Yeah. And I'd crawl home. I ain't going to no damn session, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> crawl home. Okay. I okay. probably do that a few times. <laughs> okay. Here's something that has nothing to do with your father's mustache. But okay. Here's, <laughs> Does she dance? Her, well, let me find it again. Okay, hold on a second. Now. I'm in the wrong spot. Okay. Um, I, I was going through old boxes of stuff in the attic and and um, now I've got to find it. I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm like Tom. I had it a second ago. Now I can't find it. Okay. We got so many pictures that they just get. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you start moving because they're in different folders. And let's see. Where is it? Okay. Now, this uh, was a place that I ate back in 1970 when I took a trip to New York. And I, ke and I kept the... Uh, and I kept the um, menu, and it's probably a place that the people who are from New York would be familiar with. Oh, oh yeah, Montleone's Mont sure. real tourist place. Yeah, and that was on a yeah. Billy Joel song. Yeah, yeah, uh, Montleone's. Uh, that was a popular place. Yeah, well, uh, it was probably the only actually big sit down restaurant we were like a bunch of high school kids and we were there to see broadway shows and we ate mostly at tad steakhouse and yeah, uh, tad. And, and you know cheap places and the guy who took us there uh had done some broadway shows and all chuck and he says we're gonna have one sit down dinner and so he took us to mama leone's and i and i kept this re and i kept this menu you know it was the only thing we sat down did a nice big sit down dinner all together and ate and i had uh, also with it let me see I had the actual prices. Let me see if I can find that too. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Kind of a surprise, you know, because it seemed expenses to us back then. Sure. Let me pull that up here. Well, if I remember, it was sort of a prefix, and then they would just keep bringing you whatever you wanted. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, it was. Yeah, it would. They we ate big, you know. We were, <laughs> I'd like some. <laughs> we I'd like some baked lasagna we, for two seventy five right now. I'm rib of beef, six bucks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mama's whole stuffed roast chicken, five dollars. You can get that at Costco right now. Yeah, <laughs> really? <laughs> That's for tails, six seventy-five. <laughs> wow. Roast prime rib? That's really expensive. Six bucks. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sausage and peppers, three seventy five. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You have to understand, we were we were staying 10, 10 in a room at the New Yorker, and each of us were kicking in four bucks a night. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like... Uh, lobster, lobster fra Diablo, seven... What was that? Uh, seven, seven fifty. Big deal. That's, huh? that's what we're making, $190 a week and happy with it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Broiled cold water lobster tails were six seventy five. So... It was... They they put on the table celery, olives, tomato, green pepper, scallions, and famous cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. no, we we ate we ate big time. It was uh it was nice, you know. But I, I saw that and I said, well, some of the New York people would probably appreciate this, you know. Well, yeah. Mama Leone's, Mama Leone's is a special place in my life. We had a re wedding rehearsal dinner there. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yep. They yep. look at the supper time, ten thirty at night till one in the morning. You bet. <laughs> that, imagine doing that in, Flor in Florida. Go away yeah, we, bed at eight o'clock. Yeah, we went there after watching a Broadway show. We saw That's a bunch right. of stuff. It was, it, it, we got there right the day after Christmas, 1969, and we stayed till January 3rd, 1970. And it was like, uh, we saw Woody Allen in, in uh, Play It Again, Sam, and uh, James Earl Jones in Butter, in, uh, the Great White Hope and Cure Delay and Butterflies Are Free and uh, Jerry wow. Rock was in Promises, Promises. So it was a lot of people that were still in, uh, in and uh, Chuck would uh, we'd get up. He knew how to work it. We'd go get standing room only tickets every day. That's right. Um, and they were cheaper, you know, so we could see all those things. Did you go to Times Square New Year's Eve? We did. And Bonnie got goosed like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I had Bonnie on my shoulders to get her out of the crowd. She says, "Put me down! Put me down! Put me down!" Everybody was there to pinch her ass, you know. So no, nothing like a holiday goose. Yeah, but what yeah. we did was we uh, we um, went to uh, we saw we saw hair on January first, actually, and we uh, went to Times Square for New Year's Eve. And then the guys they would only let you get two tickets, standing room only tickets for for hair because it was sold out till like the next year. We, uh, what's his name? James, Jerome Ragney was still in the cast. And um, we uh, went directly from Times Square, the guys that we picked up a, a fifth of whiskey and we went and got in line for the Stanger Moly tickets because only each person can only get two tickets. And we uh, stayed there until the door, until the box office opened and got our tickets for January 1st, 1970. Did you go down to your father's mustache in the village? I didn't, I didn't know about the mustache. That was a year before I started working there. Uh, it was my no. senior year of high school, and I started there the year after. <clears throat> yeah. See well, what I remember. What I remember about playing a New York club is the first set was like half full, but once the theaters let out oh. at ten thirty, that's when that's when it would really pick up. When the theaters <laughs> let out. Well, we had a coupon in the uh, playbills. Right. Right. So Smart. theaters would let out, and everybody come down on a mustache. That ten. 10 and 11 o'clock set was big. Yeah. 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 And it, it, after that, the next time I went to New York was when we did Carnegie Hall. You know, I had mm. an accent. Mm -hmm. So both times I was in New York, I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Showtime. Yeah. Yeah. When you think about it, that hotel we stayed at for Carnegie Hall, that worked out really good. It was yeah. two, long, two long blocks from Carnegie, right. but still, it, it wasn't that bad. Uh, you, nobody could get lost, in other right. words. And, yeah. and Central Park was right there, too. On right. 57th Street, Street, the hotel. Yeah. That no, was a great spot. Yeah. And Carnegie Hall was on 57th and, what, 7th Avenue? 7th, yeah. right. No, it was a good location. It was good. Yeah, and we had a friend, and a friend of the family was running it, so that was that was even better. That was a great time. <laughs> and I tell you what, Ira, we went out to eat three, four, five, six times, and we just pick a restaurant at random, and every meal was great. Yeah, hey. yeah. It's really I remember right, right, right across the street from the hotel, we went to a place, and I had the best Reuben sandwich I ever had. Was what it? was that place? I'm trying to think of it. It was right across the street from the hotel. 
Was it Joe Sakata that had the hotel? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that was, was his hotel. Was it a sports a a bar, in. Barry? Yeah. No, it wasn't a sports bar. It was, and it wasn't fine dining. It was kind of in between moderate dining. I remember getting a sandwich. Uh -huh. Might have been there for lunch. But I said, well, let me get a New York Reuben sandwich. That's something we don't get down here good. Right. right, and it was it was out of this world that rye bread, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, but every meal we had was out of this world. Yeah, uh, I, you and I ate together every meal. Absolutely. Hey, I remember. Good. I remember in New Haven we went to that uh, restaurant. We had a walk there at night, and I think there were like ten or twelve of us. And I think you and me and Don, we had Reuben sandwiches that were fantastic. You talking about this last trip or in the last trip in Connecticut? Oh yeah, yeah. That, remember yeah. that? I forgot the name of that place. You were there before we went that night. That's we went right. There the night before, or so like a little sports bar, a lot of yeah, a lot, a lot yeah. of TVs all around. That was good. Is that the yeah. night? Is that the last night we went there? Um, and yeah, you were there. You were watching the World Series. Yes, yeah, you were there. Roger was there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was it was nice. In fact, in fact cool. was, you guys, I gotta go, but you guys have a good time in yeah. us in Billy. Next Austin. week, Tom. See you next week. Bye, bye Tom. Okay. See you Tom. Next week. Good night, Tom. Yeah, yeah, no, we had a great it was a it was a nice bar. Remember, we were drinking that big was nice. schooners of Guinness and they had those firemen next to us uh doing uh doing boilermakers. Oh, I remember that. There, you remember that? And we were cheering yeah. for them because they were down and they were they were put the Glass of whiskey in the bottom of the uh, Guinness, yeah. and down the whole thing. <laughs> and, and, look, and look, after the, the New Orleans mustache, we all went to Rizzo's. A bunch of us went to Perky's or Perks. Mr. But, Perky's. But remember, we all used to go for, for a while to Molly's Irish Pub. Yeah. 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 Remember that place, Molly's? Yeah. 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 Bill Sawyer started working there after for a and, while. And I was telling Dottie the night before she served a salad with blue cheese in it. And I said, Dottie, the first time I ever ate blue cheese was at Molly's. I always probably mm -hmm. remember the Molly burger had blue cheese on the burger. <laughs> that, you ever had that in New York, Bear? No, that was down here in New Orleans. It's the first time I ever ate blue cheese. I was in my 20s. <laughs> you know? And I remember saying, wow, this is different. I really love it. It was at Molly's. But you remember at Molly's, if you went into the into the men's room and you went out the wrong door, you came out in the dungeon. That's right. The, the punk <laughs> <bar> next door. <laughs> they shared the bathroom, you know. So the, like, the dungeon has my, a world all of its own. Yes, it my, did. <laughs> my first date with Dottie after the mustache, uh, I said, Dottie, you want to go out? I said, yeah. And I took her to the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> And she still dated you. I can't believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't scare her away. I guess. <laughs> well, well, the good news is so dark in there she couldn't see my ugly face. <laughs> <laughs> it was dark. Um, it, well, Tom's not going to be here next week, so I'm going to run it. Is there anything in particular y'all would like to see photos of, or videos of, or just stream, just stream of consciousness type things, or? Okay, I'll try to put together some things we haven't seen in a while or, or whatever. I have some things I want to dig up. You remember Charlie Vagabond who had the dark room in the back? Yes. And the mustache. Well, when, when he left, he had a house up in Helen, Georgia, also. <clears throat> the Hitchie River. And of course, he had his place down in Costa Rica, which I would go and visit. Anyway, after Peggy passed away, I helped him move all the stuff out of his house down on St. Peter Street. He came out with this big box of stuff. So here, take it. I said, well, what is it? So these are hundreds of slides that I've taken in New Orleans over the years. And a lot of them are strippers and a lot of them are just activities. I haven't even gone through them yet. I've had them <laughs> all these years. Um, yeah. I'm slowly unboxing them, putting yeah. them on a big light box and looking at them. See, yeah. which one, see if I can find some good stuff yeah. out of there. Yeah. Well, we would I, I own a yeah, I own a slide scanner, but I hate for you to have to mail stuff, you know, to me, you know. Yeah, I have a slider. A slide scanner? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have all kinds of okay. knickknacks still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go yeah. back to yeah. and start looking at it. Well, that was my yeah. I have a couple of pictures. One picture is of Dixie's 
Remember Dixie's down the corner of uh, St. Peter and Bourbon? Dixie's. Yeah, where, where the Cat's Meow is now. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. It used to be a, a late night club. Uh, mm -hmm. People would go in there and hang out. I have a picture of that when it snowed. It's really funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if anything you want to send, uh, send it to me because Tom <laughs> won't be here next week and then uh, I can put them up there for you. And I'll see if, I, if Barry wants to send me that um, audio tape he has. I'll try it. I'll try yeah. it. Yeah, I got to run, guys. I just caught okay. the hour out west. Okay, it's great to see you again. Thank you. I'm going to. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. Bonsoir. 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 See you, amigos. See everybody next Thursday. Yes, indeed. I'll yes, be here. Indeed. Okay. Sure see y'all later. Take Bye, care, guys. Goodbye. I'm, be I'm being called for dinner, so I got to go too. Did you hear my name? <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> oh, God, okay. I left off the list. <laughs> yeah, well, it'll be, I'll see you. Well, there's see you later. Night, uh, Chris's night. chair, and good night, Tom's chair, and good night, Roger. See you.